morning guys. Just crawled out of bed, realized it's Sunday and that means it's video time. So I'm going to get dressed for the day and see what it holds. I have no idea what I'm going to do today yet, but um, let's try a little something. Wait, 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 wait. We got to do some magic. I've seen people do this. I'm going to try to do it. I don't know if I'm going to succeed, but I'm going to try. Here we go. What about if I just stand here, snap my fingers. <clears throat> oh my word. No, cut, 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 cut. Much better. <laughs> I am ready for the day. Let's go adventure. Let's go uh, make the most of this day and I don't know if the sun's out, but the guns are out. I don't know, that was stupid. Anyways, let's go adventure. Let's go see what this day has in store for us. I'm going to Chilliwack. It's my niece's birthday party today. She is turning three. Well, she turned three yesterday. Um, there's really cool rivers in Chilliwack. Let's go check them out. Rhett, we are in the car. I am, Ugh. if you look behind me, I don't know if you guys can see that. My car is full of junk. So, first stop is gonna be the dump because, because this. And, uh, oops, sorry. So we'll go to the dump and then we'll go to find the river. Down there. This place is crazy. So it's called Gill Road Boat Launch. Uh, and people come here with their like 4x4s or ATVs or whatever. And like they go crazy. It's awesome. I came kind of farther away. To get in the quiet, it's really loud over there where they're all bombing around. But like this place is nuts. I'll kind of show you around. Look at that. Boom. It is beautiful here. Let me straighten this. 
But yeah, people have fires, like camping here. There's people camping over there. Um, I'm kind of hoping someone's gonna come through here because that would be freaking amazing. I really wish I had a vehicle that uh, could go places like this. I'm kind of scared to walk around this corner. Someone's coming. Uh, someone's coming, they're coming fast. Okay, there's nobody coming. Holy. I don't know if you can see down the river there. I'll try to zoom in for you. There's like right over there. There's tons of people camping. I might have to camp here one summer. Maybe this summer. It's beautiful. It's pretty chilly here right now. A lot of those people are in campers. So they've got heat. No, I wouldn't want to tent it. Well, this is very soft. Wouldn't want to tent it here. But yeah, anyways, thought I'd take you guys to the river. It's pretty cool. Um, whew. I parked my car like at the top where I could still get it out. Because if I came down here with my car, I'd be stuck. So hopefully I'm not in anybody's way. But I'm gonna walk around and explore and uh, try to find uh, something cool. Okay, what the heck? You guys see that? Wow. Okay, I guess they didn't want this truck anymore. Yikes. Wow. Why do people do this? Oh, that looks fun. Yikes. Whoa. Uh, I guess not gonna be driving that around. I really want someone to come through here. And like, just bomb that puddle. Disgusting. Someone left their trailer here and it's full of mice. Ew. Oh. Hello, buddies. What are you doing? Are you finding stuff to eat? Oh, my word. Okay, so as beautiful as this place is, I'm leaving. Um, there's not much I can do with my car, and to be honest, after seeing those rats, it's got this weird feeling. So I wish I could go in there and explore, because they were actually kind of cute, but a sketch. But hopefully on my way out, I'll be able to catch some, some guys uh, or girls on their ATVs bombing around because it's pretty cool, but those mice were disgusting. Anyways, um, I'm gonna leave this place, I think. See what else I get up to. Okay, I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so I found another part of the river. Uh, it's very quiet here. It's nice. Here, I'll hold it this way so you guys can see where I'm looking. Um, but I wanna get to over there but there's water in the way I'm gonna walk up a little bit and see 
if I can get over there. Looks like I might be able to on the other side, so. Oh, wow. Some cool um, sticks. Oh, this, we had the, all that rainfall last weekend, like I was telling you guys. And um, I don't know if you can tell, it's all like washed away here. Would not want to fall down there. But I'm gonna walk along here for a little bit. That tree looks like it fell. Boom, right there. <laughs> so I don't know if I'll be able to get across there, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try, oh yeah, I can. I have to jump down here. I have to jump down there. This doesn't belong here. That's well, okay. Look at the beautiful mountains though, man. Wow. I live in an amazing place. Just had to show you guys this. Um, <clears throat> so, <laughs> I hit a dead end. I can't get past that. So I'm gonna have to go back up. Looks like there's a little trail here. So this ground is very soft. It's sinking in. What are you thinking about? Okay. Let's crawl up here. I gotta go up here. Okay. Oh dear. Oh my prickles. you guys what I'm crawling. Ow! Oh, I'm in a farmer's field. This is not where I thought I would end up. I'm in a field. And I got a prickle bush stuck to me. I got a prickle bush stuck to me. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, well, I don't know if I'm allowed here. Whoa, I almost died. Okay, there's a lot of bird feathers. Someone got eaten. I'm gonna walk for a minute. Technically trespassing right now. But come on. I'm just right on the edge here. Oh my word. Look at that. Can you guys see that? Wow. That is Mount Shim, right there, Mount Shim. I've climbed up there, right to the top, stood on the very tip and looked um, east. Um, sorry, I'll hold still. Um, yeah, grade seven, I did it as an adult as well, but grade seven was my first time up there and um, it was amazing. There's a girl who actually almost um, ran off the side of the cliff by accident. She started running and it was gravel and she couldn't stop and she was scared to drop. And she was literally like feet, like maybe two feet from the edge and another hiker had seen her and ran and jumped and like caught her and they both landed and like they were like laying on the edge of a cliff it was insane this is grade seven i can only imagine what the teacher was thinking but we had to tie off to each other at the top of it so that if one person falls we all fall i think the purpose was if one person falls and everyone kind of holds them up but i'm pretty sure everyone would have went down <laughs> i don't know okay this field isn't bringing me where I want to go. <sighs> I gotta turn around. <sighs> Adventures with Mel. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna turn the camera off for a bit. Save my battery. Battery? How do you say battery? I say it battery. Some people say battery. Battery. Anyways, I'm gonna 
try to find my way back to my car. I don't want to go through that same trail that came in here on because ugh, it sucked. I'm going to rip a hole in my shirt. Anyways, I'm going to stop babbling and get to a spot where I can get back to my car. the difference between visiting a uh, waterfall, which I did last weekend, and a river. I don't know if it'll pick it up, but it is so peaceful here. Can you hear it? Oh, you can hear the birds. I wanted you guys to experience the sound. You can listen. Sounds so nice. I would say my top two places to be is uh, at the river or at a waterfall or somewhere hot like Hawaii or you know, in Africa. Whoa. Like, this is why. Look at this. Can you see the colors in this rock? It's like red and black. This is why I love it here. Like, check this out. Check this out. Like, I think of Lori from Trucking with the Wingfields. Um when I find rocks because she paints rocks she's they're truckers well she used to she's um taking some time off the truck right now but um she used to go with her husband paint rocks on the truck or whatever she'd find rocks and paint them and then leave them at different trucks truck stops for people to find and I think that's pretty cool so every time I find rocks I think of them Lori and Mike, trucking with the wing field. I don't know, I just love the river. It's so peaceful here. It wasn't very peaceful at that last place I was at, but it was sure fun to watch. I, want, I really want to get to the other side. I bet you there's some cool driftwood over there. There's got to be a way across. I think it's just because uh, we had all that rain and then um, everything kind of like flooded. I'm pretty sure at one point you could get across this. <sighs> Cause it, you, can, you can tell that there, there has been people over there. But, okay, for real now, I gotta get to the birthday party. Uh, what time is it? 12.30, oh shoot, I gotta go. Um, I gotta walk back to my car yet and then drive to my sister's. Uh, might be there just on time. I should have probably left about 10 minutes ago. So I'm gonna go to the birthday party and I'll check back in with you guys after. All right, so I am back home again. I don't know if you guys have seen my new setup here. Yesterday I cleaned the spare bedroom. Uh, there was so much junk in here for my re renovations. Uh, there was even a toilet in here for the last year. So, um, when you've seen the clip before me going to the dump, it was basically all the crap that was in this room. So yeah, I made myself like a little office area. Um, I know a few times I've moved it around my house. It was in my kitchen kind of area and then it was in my living room and it just felt so cluttered. So I, um, I, I'm like, I have this spare bedroom and it's basically just holding a bunch of junk. So uh, what I did was just set up my desk, um, in this corner here in in the spare bedroom where I can edit and just have an area where it's not in my main living space so um, let me turn you guys there's still like other stuff in here like 
I don't know, junk kind of stuff, I guess you would call it. But uh, I don't know, for now it's, it's nice to have my little corner where I can keep my stuff all in the same place and it's like super easy to find everything again. So, but what a cool day today. Um, I had to go to Chilliwack anyways for my niece's third birthday party. And so, yeah, I thought I would take you guys to the river again. And um, it was a new river this time. Uh, I don't know, I don't think I've ever taken you to that one. Usually I go to the other river, it's on the other side of town. Um, so we have two that run through our town basically. So this one's pretty cool comes straight down from the mountains as well, but um, I don't know, different types of rocks, different types of driftwood. And um, yeah, I hope you guys liked it. Hope you guys are having an amazing week. Sorry, I always get these weird hiccups when I come on here. Anyway, so um, that's my vlog for today. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, it looks like I'm trying to upload now every weekend, so uh, just when it's not so busy, I have a chance to get out with my camera and go do something fun. So, And I tried a few new things in this vlog. Um, I tried to do the whole subscribe thing that people do, where they have like it pop up on the screen here and boop, but I don't know how to do that, so I just kind of made my own. Hope you guys <laughs> are okay with that. And I tried my magic editing skills. I don't, at this point I haven't edited anything yet, so I don't know what it's even gonna turn out to be like, but we'll see. Um, I hope you guys are doing awesome. I hope you're having a fantastic weekend and I hope you have an amazing week and I hope that we will see you next time.